Welcome back to Fredericksburg, Texas and to this incredible landscape resort. This is called Oneira Fredericksburg and they have a ton of unique properties ranging from tree houses to safari tents to container homes like the one behind me. In the last video, we toured their Monarch Treehouse, which is a butterfly shaped treehouse. Now we are right next door to one of their 20 foot shipping containers. They modified this one and they bumped out a wall and added in a ton of extra windows. So it allows for more natural light and just more space in general. A lot of 20 footers that I visited in the past just feel very cramped. This one has a lot more space to move around, which I enjoyed. It also has a rooftop deck and a hot tub that all blend into Texas Hill Country. We are just literally a three minute drive to downtown Fredericksburg, which honestly, hands down, I think may be my favorite town in the entire state of Texas. I highly suggest a visit. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not go and start the full tour. We will begin the tour here at the parking area, and if you walk in further, this takes us to the fire pit. You have a nice little chiminea here with some firewood provided and two chairs and a small table. All the units also have their own little sign, so you can find each of them easily when first entering the property. Let's turn our attention now to the container home itself. So I'll take the drone and get a little closer now, and you can see it's essentially two stories with this big outdoor deck. I'll walk up the stairs, and I love how they also place the soaker tub up here elevated and attached to the deck instead of just placing the tub on the ground like a lot of other places do. It's a unique structure. In terms of specifics, you also have your grill, two chairs, a table, and the view looking out towards the creek. I will walk up these stairs and let's go and check out the rooftop deck. It's pretty simple. You have these two chairs and a small rounded table, but these chairs are the fun spinny chairs. So you can spin around like this. Definitely a nice area. Before we head inside, I'll quickly walk down this path and this will eventually take you to a small bench in your own private waterfront area. You can find this little creek here. I called it a river in the last video and I was promptly corrected. I think it's more like a creek, but definitely nice to have. But I'll now open up this door and let's go inside. When you first enter, you'll come to this main space, which has your bedroom, kitchen, and a small dining area. First, we'll go to the bedroom, which has a large king-size mattress, and then lighting fixtures and nightstands on either side of the bed. On this left wall, you can then find two luxurious bathrobes, which are perfect to use outside in the soaker tub. Next, this is me trying to explain that normally a 20 foot container would stop here at this black beam. But you can see to the left, they bumped it out to add those windows in. Let's venture further into the container to the dining area and they left behind some flowers for me. How cute and thoughtful. I was riding solo on this trip, but it's all jokes aside, still a very nice personal touch and perfect if you're here for a romantic couple's getaway. Next, let's go into the kitchen, which has all of your key appliances, like your fridge there in the bottom left. You also have a microwave, and then there's your coffee maker, some cutting boards up here, and everything else you can need, ranging from a toaster to all of your plates and bowls. It's very well equipped. There's also even a hot plate here, so you can still do some basic cooking if you need to. Although Fredericksburg is right down the road, and this is your coffee maker for your morning cup of caffeine. 
For the final room in this container home, I'll slide back this door and this will take us into the bathroom. It's very similar to the bathroom we saw in the Monarch Treehouse in the last video. We have a bunch of shampoo and conditioner and amenities on top of the toilet and then your sink and mirror. But I love this shower. You have hundreds of these small little black tiles. It all feels just super modern and slick. Now, what really takes this place from just an Airbnb to more of a hotel or resort is the amenities on the other side of the property. You have a few lounge chairs out here next to a container pool. There's then also a barrel sauna there on the left, an outdoor shower straight ahead, and a hot tub in this corner. There's even more though. If we go further back in this direction towards the trees, there is more deck space. There are a couple of hanging chairs and couches that dangle directly from all these tree trunks. It feels like you're deep in the forest. I loved it. There's also another hammock out here and an additional fire pit. And if the container home is booked, be sure to check out their Monarch Treehouse. It's right next door. And personally, it's my favorite unit on the entire property. I shot a full video tour at this place as well. So check that link down in the video description to watch it. And they have some other units like the Spyglass, which is essentially a rounded treehouse. It has a really cool looking interior like this and a few others like this Safari tent, which has a very luxurious interior. This one is called the Cocoon, definitely a unique structure, and some more traditional ones like an Airstream, not to mention all the wildlife in the area. Last but not least, my little spiel on Fredericksburg. Be sure to go to the stores, the Peach Basket and Caliche Coffee for your morning cup of joe. This is what the interior looks like and I had my breakfast there every morning. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you very soon for another Airbnb tour.